Hello, my name is Afol Albanson and welcome to the Young Achievers Network. This platform has been designed to help you improve the quality of your life. And we are looking at the series, Making Progress. But before we go any further, kindly click that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that whenever I upload motivational content, you will get the notification. So we are looking at the six human needs and we've looked at the first four human needs which are the needs of the personality or the needs of the flesh. Certainty, variety, significance and love and connection. You can go back to some of my videos in my channels. I explain them in detail. We are now looking at the two human needs which are the needs of the spirit. And the first one is the need for growth. All of us love to grow. This is the need to know that we are making progress. We are getting better. We are making more money. We are getting promotions in the workplace. More business is coming. Our relationships are getting better. This need for growth is critical to our livelihood as human beings. And so when we know we are making progress, we are happy. Because the level of progress we make is connected to the, our level of happiness. That is why some people chase money all the time. Because to them, money is the scorecard that indicates to them that they are making progress. But money is not the only scorecard. How is the relationship with your children? How is your relationship with your wife? How is your relationship with your husband? Your brothers and sisters? Your colleagues at work? How productive are you in the workplace? Are you getting along with your manager? So you can't just use money as a scorecard. When you do that, you will lose out. Someone said, if you make money your goal, you will die a goat. Because the Bible says in Proverbs that money makes itself wings and flies away. You can chase it and chase it and chase it and you will never have enough of it. But when you build other areas of your life and you have this sense of godly contentment, you may not have so much money, but you have enough for you to live a comfortable life and for you to have options whenever you decide to do something. So growth is what gives us a sense of life. Everything that is alive grows. When something is dead, it does not grow. The only thing that grows in dead things are the maggots. That's right, only maggots grow in dead environments. But if you are not a maggot, if you're not a bacteria, you look for a life host. You are alive. And so life equals growth and growth equals life. And when we are growing and we are alive, we feel happy. What are the advantages of this human need of growth? Number one, it empowers and motivates us to put in more effort, do more, go higher, go further than we have ever gone before, take more risks because we know that we are making progress. And so people would invest in the education, read courses upon courses. They would invest in different business ventures, even the ones they know very little about because they are seeing progress. They are making progress. Number two, it gives us returns on our investments. The advantage of progress is that when we make investments, we see returns and we calculate the returns as growth and therefore we, re we make even more investments. Number three, it drives us to leave where we are and to move to a new level. We may leave our location or the city we live in to a new city where we believe we'll make better progress. We will leave the level of friendship to a higher level of friendship because we want to grow. So it drives us to leave our status quo and move to a higher level, have a higher level of discipline. And these are some of the advantages of the need for growth. If you notice, I'm always giving three advantages and three disadvantages. There are many more, but I'm limiting myself because to three because of time. Now, what are the disadvantages of this need for growth? Number one, the spirit of growth is always a hungry spirit. It is never satisfied. It always wants more. Like this guy, uh, 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 I've gotten his name, who said, I want, him, I want more, Oliver Twist. He said, I want more. And so your spirit always wants more. And so some people always spend a lot of their lives in school because they always want more. More degrees, 
more, 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 more diplomas, more certificates, more courses because they want more. The spirit of growth is always hungry. Number two, it can turn you into an overachiever. That you are never satisfied with where you are. You always want to achieve more. And this can lead you to even neglect things that are vital to your life. Which leads me to the third point. It can cost you a lot in life. It can cost you your family. It can cost you your friends. It can cost you important relationships. It can cost you health. Because you don't know how to enjoy the benefits of the new level you are on. Listen, when you move to a new level... Take the time to enjoy the benefits of the new level you are on with your family, with your friends, with those you care about. Before you think of moving to a new level, another level. Don't just move to one level today and then tomorrow you are finished. You want to move to a new level. Take the time to enjoy the benefits of the level you are on. Because you will be shocked and amazed at how much benefits is available on the level you are on. And most of us are dissatisfied with the level we are on because you have not explored or exploited all the benefits that are available on that level. And so I would like to say to you that as you desire to grow, be careful that you don't become an overachiever. This has been the Young Achievers Network. I'm Afol Elbanson. Subscribe to this channel, comment below and let me know what you think of this topic and share with your friends. God richly bless you.